Awesome. But but it was but but you know so so it was a, uh, I mean as soon as I started working with Hercules during those those time books it was a ton of fun. But then in the end it's just it, it is serendipity that Ares had been set up by you know with Almin and Bendis. Uh, first in the mini and then in the Avengers book to be on the other side, you right. know, and Hercules and Ares have a rivalry that dates back 3,000 years. So, yeah. I mean, like those kinds of things, that's the serendipity that just totally feeds the whole thing. It just works. So, and we, we, I mean, just, I think part of it is also just like myths are myths for a reason. I mean, they, these, these myths, it, you know, in, they, they affect everything. They affect all of our stories, even if we've never read them. And so when you go back to those original myths, you find resonances with, with, with almost probably whatever kind of heroic story you're trying to write. So, um, so on that level, I mean, it, it's, it, I mean, if we were writing a, a book about a character who was not named Hercules, but was a kind of, you know, a, a heroic character, you'd probably find the same kind of resonances, but you know, it's, it's nice when it's actually the same dude when you can say so in the book, you know? Uh, let's briefly talk about some of the other stuff you guys are working on. Uh, Fred, you're, you wrote the series that we love called Action Philosophers, which is awesome, which essentially uh, took philosophy and broke it down into its bare essentials in comic book form, right? Yeah. Uh, and now you're <laughs> working on comic book comics? Yes, comic book comics, which is <laughs> the history of comics as a comic. Yeah. Awesome. And if you open my brain, I like to say comics over and over and over again, so it's kind of, it's, uh, it's definitely a, Something I'm, I'm looking forward to, to it finally coming out. Awesome. When is that coming out? Uh, it's coming out the first week of March. We put it to bed. We sent it to the printer this week, so it's really exciting. Uh, and yeah, so the first issue cover is, I think, 1896 to like the late 30s. So, uh, and then Great unlike years. unlike uh, Action Philosophers, which is sort of more biography, like we have different individuals, this is much more of a linear um, progression to the history of the medium. And so uh, uh, each sort of story is its own topic. Uh, uh, what we like to say is that we're not blacklisted. By the end of it, we're doing something wrong. <laughs> so you heard it here first. Well, it's on the comic book blacklist. So right. we're telling, well, we, okay, the first rule about the comic book blacklist is you don't talk about the comic book. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> so we're, uh, we're, uh, so we're going to be on it, yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, we're, we're telling it like it is. Comic book confidential is what it is. It's awesome. And we would have called it that if it wasn't already booked before. <laughs> Uh, Greg, you're working on a bunch of sort of Hulk-related titles, or sort of Hulk Fallout titles right now, right? Yes. Uh, uh, or as we prefer to say in the biz, the after smash. Yes. Titles. Oh, nice. Clever there. Are it's you true. sick of the Hulk? Yeah. Um, no, no. I, uh, I, I love the Hulk. Deep down. <laughs> you um, still, you still pop it. Yeah, we do. He calls every once in a while. Oh, awkward. <laughs> Depends on. Well, you know, I mean, I. I I take his calls, um, and uh, it's, it's hard. It always is hard. Yeah, calls got wrecked. Yeah. Is he like, why don't you talk to him? Hulk me, great cat. It's sad to talk that way because he doesn't. You know, and it's hurtful to him. And even though we're not together in the same way that we used to be, I, I still feel like I have to speak up when I hear people, you know, treat him that way. So. Hulk's pillow spills smell like grip. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so um, I'm writing the Warbound miniseries, which is which follows the Hulk's alien uh, gladiator companions as in an adventure right here on planet Earth, post World War Hulk. They are trapped beneath the deadly dome of Gamma World, where the the, uh, the Hulk enemy, the leader, is now. Uh, he has some nefarious plan that they uh, they must foil or, or, and or, or will it. Are they monsters or are they heroes? Oh man, check it out. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I'm uh, I'm uh, writing Scar, Son of Hulk, which is going to follow the uh, the adventures of the Savage Son of Hulk on the Savage Planet of Sakar, where things are very savage. Uh, and, <laughs> savagely savage. Yeah, savage, savage. <laughs> savage book savages. Um, so and that'll that'll be uh, in, in that'll come out in the spring, the first issue of that. Uh, and then uh, Fred and I are co-writing uh, Hulk versus Herc. A uh, giant mechanic <gasps> smash one shot. I was smashing them. Yes, exactly. Smash with the Titans, if you will. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's, a, that's, a, that's a Fred line, so I stole it from him, Shane. Fred line? <laughs> yeah, it's wow. a pretty good <laughs> This um, just in. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that's going to be a, a big one shot that comes out in April, I think. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Giant size. So it seems like you guys are pretty busy. 
When can Hulk pick up stuff in great packs of parts? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is time for the stack. <laughs> Uh, first issue we are going to talk about today is the latest issue of Amazing Spider-Man number 548. Uh, this is the end of the first month of the brand new day storyline. Uh, how, how do you think it's holding up? Uh, well, I, this has been hard to really judge this on its own because this is after they broke up uh, Peter Parker and MJ. So it's still kind of, they're very abrupt and they're like, he's been kissing other people, men and women. JJ. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Yeah. And so uh, <laughs> now it's been so it's been hard to judge it on its own merits, but it's not a bad. I, I like Dan Slott's kind of twist on everything. Yeah. Have you guys been reading this at all? Well, when you <laughs> when you spend all day writing superhero comics, right. I watch sports and TV ads. <laughs> and it comes the end. I gotta tell you, it's it's very hard to sort of read and follow the comics for fun. And a lady at a Chinese pastry shop recently said something very similar. <laughs> I, can, I I I can imagine. Uh, I so she has no interest in eating <laughs> Chinese No, I think you've said it all. No, no, I said it all. And I, it was this ridiculous pastry that I don't even remember what it was called. And I was like, oh, there were a couple of different flavors. And I was like, which one do you recommend? And she looked at me and she's like, I don't like any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And she's like, if you, if you work in a steakhouse and you eat steak all day, every day of your entire life, you don't like steak. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'll take that one. <laughs> I feel like we should go rescue her. <laughs> and then she said, get out. <laughs> she did. And uh, the pastry was gross. So I'll just mention that. Wow. Oh, that was unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, but that's about <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man, which is good. It's good. I think it's solid. Um, Pete, who uh, sadly cannot be with us today, I think made actually a very good point about this, which is... Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Weird surprise, too. <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> He was basically like, I have something to say. <laughs> I don't know who's okay. talking out of you right now. The funny thing was, Pete said it to Alex, and Alex was like, to me, he said, Pete said something really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> like, For like once. Like, you totally betrayed the yeah. fact that we're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just growls. <laughs> uh, that's on me. We throw up a bone. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Pete's very good point, though, was <laughs> that you have this whole storyline which is like, we have to save Aunt May, we have to save Aunt May. Uh, the only way of doing that is breaking up with MJ, and this entire storyline had little to nothing to do with Aunt May whatsoever. Yeah. So that it's all this build up, and then you don't get to actually see what it's for. Well, who likes Aunt May, really? Oh. Me? Oh. Yeah, yeah, but like, every, the whole, the she purpose kills of chameleon. Yeah, well, that was another one of those things that they're like, what, she killed someone? That's, oh, she's frail. She's been frail since day one. The bones sticking out of her arm. And now, what happens? Like, what? He's like, why do you so hungry. The only purpose she's heard in the story is for Peter to be like, oh, Aunt May's going to be in trouble soon. Or like, i got to get home because Aunt May's going to wonder where I am. It's like, uh, you could have that anyone fill that role. I, I will say, on its own merits, I really like this art. I thought it was a lot of fun, and I think they had a lot of fun with it. It definitely... As more time passes, I think people will get over the whole one more day thing, is my suspicion. Yeah. Well, I don't know. He's still carrying a torch for the Hulk. <laughs> I think he's going to carry it. I thought the other way around. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about a <laughs> Spider-Man title we really like a lot, and we mentioned before. It's Blue Beetle number 23, uh, which is bringing together pretty much the first, well, first 23 issues. Uh, <laughs> there we go. It's the next one after the 22nd. Uh, it's so right before it's, the 24th. Yeah. yeah. Uh, That's all we have to say about that. So, uh, Blue Beetle is awesome. Yeah, it's, it's a great, great really book. great, really well done. Uh, great art. Very emotional, very funny. It seems like, uh, I always say this, but it's like the Spider-Man of the DC Universe, where it's a young hero who's like, he's interesting and has a bunch of turmoil and is in a new environment, just like Spider-Man used to be back in the day, which is what they're trying to recapture with this. Yeah. Uh, so The other thing that's very nice about this writing, I would say, and I'll contrast this with an issue we're going to talk about a little bit later, uh, but <laughs> this is set in Albuquerque, and it's mostly Hispanic characters, but nobody's like, Ay, Dios mio! <laughs> uh, which, in the title we're going to talk about later, <laughs> says all the time. Uh, but it's, it's very well written, it's very well rounded, can't recommend it enough. 